Hello and welcome in this new video of the series from Zero to Motoko. Today we are going to install the Definity SDK on our computer. Then we will create a web page and deploy this web page on the internet computer. So let's start. Uh, first thing we need to do is indeed install the Definity SDK. For that, uh, I will provide a link in the description, but you can go to the definity.org uh, slash developers website. And here you have a quick guide on how to set up your machine and start a new project. Uh, we just need for today the first command, so just copy and paste this command and put it into your terminal. I'm not going to run it because Deadfix is already installed on this machine, but run it on your side and everything should work fine. If you are on Mac and Linux, everything should work fine. If you are Windows, uh, the SDK is currently not compatible with Windows, so you need to install Windows Subsystem for Linux, and I've made an article about that, and there are other resources on the internet uh, that explain how to install this system. So I will provide the resources. Okay, let's start using Defix. If it's your first time using Defix, you can use this command, uh, Defix help, and it will print all the different subcommands that you can use with Defix, with a small explanation of what it does. So basically, Defix new, Defix start, Defix stop, etc. And usually, if you follow Definity documentation or other resources, the traditional way to create a new project is with the Defix new uh, subcommand, so Defix new and the name of your project. It's totally fine, it will create a template for you with everything set up. But today, we are going to do something different and we are going to make a new project from zero. And for that, just make a new folder with the make directory command and call it a uh, first project. Then move into the directory with the change directory command and open VS Code. So this, uh, this command opens VS Code, but you can, you can open VS Code uh, the normal way. Okay, then uh, you need to open your terminal because we will need it. And now that we are inside VS Code, we are going to create a new folder, call it public. And inside the public folder, we are going to create an index.html uh, page for our web page. So just create the basic template. Uh, I will call that first project and then uh, hello world because I'm not really original. Okay, so we have our web page and now we want to deploy this web page uh, first on a local replica of the internet computer. And the Defix SDK is uh, really useful because it's the Defix SDK that will create a new replica on your machine. For that, just run the command Defix start. And it's not working because Defix cannot find a configuration file for our current project. And for that, just create a new, pro a new configuration file, call it defix.json. And here we need to specify the canisters that we want to have in our project. So canisters, and then make the list of the canisters. So here the list is pretty small because we just have one canister. And I'm going to call it web page. And then you need to specify for this canister the type. So this one is of type assets. And you need to specify also the source uh, files for this canister. And there are, the source files are located inside the public folder. Okay, now that we have our project ready and our configuration file for Defix, we can try again and start the replica, Defix start. And this time it's working. We can see that we have, a start, we have started a server and this server is listening uh, at this address. So this address is the local IP address of our machine, which is completely normal because the replica is running on our machine. And it's listening to port 8000. So we can click on this link and see what is printed. Uh, the replica is saying that it couldn't find a canister ID to forward to, which is completely normal. We haven't installed anything on our replica for the moment. So let's, back, let's go back to VS Code and try to install uh, our canister. Usually to deploy your project, you can use the command defix deploy and it will work, it's totally fine. But today I wanna dip into the details of what is happening when you when you run Defix deploy, and for that uh, I will explain with a small animation. So 
So we have three main commands that I want to explain. Defx canister create, defx canister install, and defx build. The first one is defx canister create. And this command will automatically create a new canister and register an ID associated with this canister. Then you have the defx build command. And this command will create a WebAssembly module. And this is the code that is going to be running on the Ethernet computer. And finally, the FX canister install is pretty simple because it will just install the WebAssembly module you've created inside the canister. And now you have a completely functional canister on the Internet computer. Defx deploy uh, is just uh, a summary for all those three commands. So Defx deploy will automatically create, build, and install for you. OK, so let's put that knowledge into practice. Um, so first command was defx canister create web page. OK, so it's creating a wallet on the local network. So a wallet will contain cycles. Cycles are used to fund your canister and pay for computation and storage on the internet computer. So you also need a wallet on your local replica. But uh, of course, this is a fake wallet, and everything is uh, set up for you. So you don't need to pay uh, to try on your machine, of course. OK, we can see that the wallet was created uh, with this address. And the canister was created with this uh, ID. And we can go inside the defx folder and check that. So if, if we go to the local subfolder, and uh, we can see that we have two files. So the first one is the wallet. And here we have um, a JSON file that indicates that our identity is default. And we can verify that uh, if, we, if we type defx identity uh, who am I, you can see that the identity name is printed and our identity name, uh, my identity name uh, in this machine is default. And that's uh, what we can find here. And this identity is associated to wallet uh, and the ID of the wallet is this one. And we can see that this is a local wallet because it's specified here. Now, if we go to the second file, it's the canister IDs. And we can see that we have one canister. Uh, the name is web page. And this canister is uh, running on our local machine. And the canister ID is this one. So everything seems correct so far. Now we want to uh, build our project. And it will create a WASM file. So it was pretty quick because uh, our project is really small. And now we have a new folder called canister. And here we have a new folder called web page. And here, uh, I'm not going to explain every file. Uh, I will probably do it in another video. But we can see that we have two WASM files. Uh, so asset storage and web page .wasm. Asset storage is the, uh, the default WASM that you are going to have in any asset canister. And the web page is specif uh, specific to our canister uh, and what we've done so far. And we can see that this canister is an asset canister because we have another subfolder and it's called assets. And inside, we have uh, our HTML page. So the HTML page is directly stored inside the canister. And the asset uh, folder can store any asset. Uh, it can store images, it can store videos, uh, pretty much anything. OK, so now we want to uh, we wanna install the WASM module inside the canister that we have created. And for that, just run the command defx canister install uh, and then the name of the canister, so web page. OK, so it's creating a UI canister on the local network as well. This one is a bit longer. And we can see that it's installing the code for the canister web page with this ID. So everything is completely fine again. It's authorizing our identity, which is default, and uploading the assets. So we just have one asset file, which is index.html. OK, our canister is ready. So let's check that. So you need to go to the right address. And the right address is the canister ID dot local host so local host will redirect to our local ip address 
And then you need to specify the port 8000. And that's it. We can see our canister has been correctly installed because we can see the Hello World page. OK, now we are ready to deploy on the Internet computer. And for that, we need to create a canister and fund it with cycles. There are different ways to do it. But today, we are going to use a simple one. And uh, we are going to use the network nervous system application. So just go to GNNS and log in with your internet identity. Nice animation. So, so we are logged in. Uh, we can see that we have some ICP. Uh, if you don't have ICP, just uh, copy this address and go to your favorite exchange and send uh, ICP from them, uh, from there. Sorry. Uh, we don't need much ICP. We need around the equivalent of five dollars of ICP. So currently, the price of ICP is around uh, sixty dollars. So I think this should be fine to create a new canister. But uh, usually, it should be around zero point one uh, ICP. Uh, and the cost of computation and storage uh, on the Ethernet computer does not uh, depend on the price of ICP. Uh, it's it, rem it will remain stable uh, even if the price of ICP is, for example, $2,000. Um, the price of creating a canister will remain the same. It's just the amount of ICP that you will use that will depend on the, the price. OK, so when you have enough ICP, just go to canisters, create a new canister, choose your account, and you need to specify the number of trillion cycles that you want to fund your canister with. And the minimum is two trillion cycles. So I'm going to go for two trillion cycles. Uh, this is already more than enough for just a simple web page. OK, confirm. The more uh, cycles you have, the longer your canister will be able to operate on the internet computer. Uh, you need to know that if your canister runs out of cycles, uh, it will be frozen for one month. Uh, by default, it's, it's one month. And during that period of time, you will uh, be able to refund your canister. And if you don't refund your canister after this one month period, where it's frozen and can't uh, really answer any request, uh, if you don't, then the data will be lost and your canister will be basically erased by the system. OK, so we have our canister that is created. We can see that we have uh, 1.89 uh, trillion cycles inside. So the creation cost a bit, which is normal. And we can see that uh, we are, uh, so this address, our address, is uh, in the list of controllers. So controllers have the power on, on the canister, and they can uh, deploy on it, and they can uh, change the configuration of it. But now we have a problem because uh, if you go to defix and you type defix identity get principle, we can see that we have a principle here. And this principle is not the same uh, as the principle that is printed here. So our defix identity is not linked to this canister. And we need to link the defix identity. And for that, so just go to your terminal, copy this principle. And we are going to change the controllers and add a new controller. So paste your identity here, your principal, and perform the change. OK, now our DFX uh, principal is uh, part of the controllers. So we are ready to deploy. The last thing we need to do is to create a new configuration file and commit uh, canister slash ideas.json. Be careful, you need to write the exam exact same thing as me. And here, we need to specify the canister ID. So web page uh, is our canister. And we want to, to deploy on the internet computer. So write IC. And then uh, here, we need to copy the canister ID that we have here and paste it. OK, we are now ready to deploy. Uh, the command 
to deploy is defix deploy network IC and no wallet. So network IC because uh, otherwise it will deploy on your local replica and no wallet because we have already created a canister, we have already funded. So we don't want to use the wallet, uh, the default wallet of the FX uh, that would be used otherwise and would uh, create a new canister and uh, fund it automatically with cycles. So just run this command. Okay, so it's deploying all canisters. Uh, all canisters have been created and it's installing our code. Uh, so everything is going fine. I'm just copying this ID and waiting. Okay, so our canister has been deployed to the internet computer. Just copy and paste. Uh, then uh, it's ic0.app. And we can see that it worked. We have our website on the internet computer. Thanks for your time. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you have any problem during the deployment or if you have any suggestion for future videos, uh, you can write it in the comment section. Meanwhile, I wanted to inform you that we are working on Motoko School. So I'm very, very excited about this project. It will be an attempt to recreate a collaborative public school on the internet computer. Basically, the goal is to provide a, a place for people to come and help uh, spread the knowledge about the internet computer and Motoko. And it will be also a place for new, uh, new developers, so people we are really new to development and want to start uh, create things on the internet computer. Uh, it will be a place for those people. Uh, if you are interested in the project, uh, it's a community project, so you can join anytime and help us. Uh, and I will put the Discord in the description.